So now let's talk about the environmental impact of Tesla's products. And so I think this is a big misconception um, that a lot of people have of like, okay, if you're charging your electric vehicle from the grid, like you're kind of defeating the point because you're still using you know fossil fuels to power your electric car. Wrong, it's actually far more efficient to burn fossil fuels at the, the power plant level if you're gonna. So even if you had an apples to apples comparison of life cycle emissions of an electric car charging from the grid, burning fossil fuels versus an internal combustion engine car, that electric car is still gonna be way, way better. And that's what Tesla's saying with this report here, actually almost twice as good, more than 50% reduction in overall emissions, even assuming the Model 3 just charges from the grid. And here on the left, they have the Model 3 ride sharing use case. I mean, you got a million mile battery, million mile drivetrain. If that Model 3 is a robo taxi driving around getting way more miles, moving way more people from that one car, the emissions and of life cycle emissions of that vehicle are going to be even lower. We're talking about potentially, you know, a five to 10 X decrease in the amount of life cycle emissions for a vehicle once you get to electric ride sharing uh, cars. Extremely exciting. The other thing they talk about here is the stagnation fallacy. This is something I'm big on is the grid is not staying stagnant. The grid is rapidly moving to renewables as the grid moves to renewables. Um, in a, a state like New York, where it's kind of ahead of the curve, we're gonna see an even bigger gap in between the overall life cycle emissions of an electric vehicle versus the average premium mid-size sedan. So at a high level here, we already have the electric car more than twice as efficient as the internal combustion engine car, apples to apples, assuming they're charging from the grid, but that's going, you know, that gap is just getting bigger as the grid goes to renewables. Now, another big thing that Tesla does is, let's assume, okay, you finally convinced electric cars are better for the planet. Well, how efficient is that electric car? How much range are you actually getting out of that all those materials are putting in the battery pack. That is gonna to start to matter a lot. And that's why Tesla has put out this stat, which is very similar to my buddy Matt Joyce's table that um, we've talked about in a ton of hyperchange videos. Um, and this is the energy efficiency range um, in EPA miles per kilowatt hour. As you can see, Model 3, Model uh, 3 standard range, all-wheel drive, Model Y are the leading vehicles in terms of efficiency of getting the most range out of your battery pack. And so that's another way where even down to competing with other electric vehicles, Tesla's battery technology is far more efficient.